Cheers, I do buckaroos. How the heck are you? I am Tom the Whiskey Whisperer for the purposes of this video anyway. Here I have some double barrel rye, a rye finished in sherry casks at 92 proof. Let me show that to you. So I've been experimenting with different versions of an old fashioned. Some, you know, kind of make it more, um, I don't know, make it winter themed old fashioned or holiday themed. Uh, uh, Speciality, maybe. Uh, so here's what I did. Uh, I used three ounces of this particular whiskey, and I made some homemade uh, simple syrup with some raw sugar, but then I infused it with tarragon. So I've got a tarragon simple syrup, three ounces of the rye, and black walnut bitters. We're using the citrus wheel here, the orange little orange wheel in there, and the cinnamon stick as a swizzle there which sort of, again, uh, compounds the aromatics going on here. The cinnamon stick will slowly, very slowly, impart flavor and, and aroma, but it really works more for the aromatics. It will give you some flavor at some point, but it really does something to the aromatics that really elevate the drink. But I haven't tried this yet. I haven't tasted it yet with my tarragon syrup. So here we go. Here's the first one. I will tell you again, the nose is insane. Oh yeah, that's nice. So in years past, I've even seen some some upscale lounges do this. In years past, I've used a star anise uh, infused. But I didn't want that heavy anise flavor. That's why I used tarragon, which gives you a lighter, more subtle note of, of anise. The orange wheel, the dehydrated orange, is, is more for aesthetics, but it does add to the aromatics. The more it sits, uh, it's not necessarily going to add to the flavor, but, but it will add to the aromatics. And again, having that cinnamon stick in there, I think, is a nice touch because, again, it will slowly add to the flavor, but it almost immediately adds to the aromatics. And I think it's a good winter presentation, too, with the cinnamon stick. Oh, what can I say? It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious, man. I want to pat myself on the back right there. That's good. I don't care who you are. That's tasty. Yeah, that is good. I, I always do different things with simple syrup. Um, usually around this time, I do make sort of a... A winter blend where I use various spices didn't add any spices at all to this one but I just did the again I added the I had dried tarragon I should add that fact in there add some tarragon infused let that sit for quite some time and then it will slowly impart some flavor and, and aroma this sort of changes the drink up a little bit again and then with the addition of the cinnamon stick will slowly impart more flavor and, and aromatics to your drink just elevates it up a little bit you know uh, for some of you that may not be aware I'm not really in this nice little house but I kind of like the presentation <laughs> yeah, it looks nice man <laughs> I, I can dig it a uh, little house of fire going looks elegant got snow going on outside actually we had some snow um, about a week ago uh, and today it's supposed to be 68 degrees so so there you go. Yep, today it's it's today it's warm. I guess I should be outside a day like this, but but the uh, in fact I thought about going out to my, my pub area, which is my garage, because it hasn't been warm enough to use that in a while. Uh, but the wind is rather wicked today, so I, thought, I don't really want to do that either. Don't want to contend with wind and things blowing and bugs and. I don't want to have to contend with that, man. I want to relax. I'm on vacation, man. I'm on vacation. <laughs> oh, mercy.
Oh, gosh, that is delicious, though. Boy, that is good. Uh, you can buy simple syrup, but I, I honestly don't know why you would. I mean, uh, I mean, it's easy to make. Um, and some people just like the convenience buying a store. That's fine. Do 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 your thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's basically equal parts water, sugar. I prefer to use a raw sugar because it gives us a, gives you a cleaner taste. Some want to use that that white granulated sugar. Uh, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it. I just I, I think you get a better product if you use raw sugar. No, I haven't tried it yet, but I've considered uh, just you know just a thought in my head to say what would happen, <laughs> you know what would happen if you try to make it out of brown sugar? That would give you another component in there, but I, I think it might be a little heavy. So I just used the raw sugar and then I added the tarragon this time around. Like I said in years past, I've added various other uh, spices and herbs. But this one I didn't add any spice to, I just added the tarragon. Wow, that just makes an incredible drink though, it really does. A beautiful old fashioned. Uh, my cocktail choice, typically the Manhattan, but uh, I'm getting to learn to like the old fashioned. Uh, you might, yeah, my, uh, my deal with the old fashioned it has been that they just make it too sweet most bars pubs lounges yeah they don't want to they want to make that shit sweet as hell and i just i just can't drink that that's what it's, it was about 2020 when we were all stuck at home i decided i was going to make my version of everything i was going to find the best way to make everything yeah well for me anyway maybe it might not be the best for you but it's the best for me finding that right balance and that balance is, 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 for me, just making the right simple syrup, not using that granulated sugar and not using too much. A lot of places will call for equal parts of, <laughs> of, your, of your alcohol and your sugar, and that just seems like too much to me. This particular drink, I've got three ounces of the whiskey, one ounce of the simple syrup, and that's, that's a plenty sweet drink for me. Some of you might want more if you want to knock it down to two, two and a half ounces. Uh, ounce, ounce and a quarter. Hey, that's that's you know, do your thing. I mean, cocktail recipes weren't handed down from God to Moses. You can do anything you want with these things. A lot of folks are under the impression that you have to make it a specific way, and that is just simply untrue. The cocktail police are not going to show up at your door because because you made something a little bit different. You didn't add this garnish or that garnish. They're, they're not going to show up at your house, man. The cocktail is what you make it. This whiskey is something special too. Let me show you this bottle. Again, uh, rye whiskey, double barrel, Tiaki Dot, made right here in good old Springfield, Missouri. I hear the, so at the, this moment, the spirits are found at Springfield Brewing Company, but I hear that they will be making they will be having a, a, an actual distillery location soon, so we're gonna we're gonna keep our eyes posted for that, and I will do a video from there when they do open officially as the as a distillery. Because they do know that I'm a fan of the products. Warming by the fire. <laughs> I digress. This is a good day to be out and about. Uh, it is, like I said, it's in the mid 60s, but it is awful windy out there. Because I thought about going out to my pub, but then I would have to deal with the wind and everything else. And, uh, I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> Chattery neighbors, you know, those things just irritate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, I digress. Oh, wow, this is good. I 
This particular whiskey came in an old-fashioned old set with the two glasses. Um, in conjunction with 417 cocktails, they gave you directions to make it old-fashioned. Like I said, I kind of like to, you know, do things my own way. This one calls for two ounces of the rye, half ounce to one ounce, yeah, of, of simple syrup. So, again, make them any way you want to. I found that I like the three to one ratio. <laughs> Uh, three parts to one part. Yeah, that's kind of how I decide I like mine. And the bitters. The bitters you can change up depending on your taste as well. I mean, I always keep traditional Angostura on hand. Because there's some things they're perfect for. But I also like to have orange bitters, which typically get used in old-fashioned. But I also have the black walnut bitters, which I think makes a beautiful winter old-fashioned. It's great in a maple old-fashioned as well. I have cherry bitters as well. So, yeah, I like to kind of change it up depending on the mood. And, and you know, in all honesty, sometimes depending on the season. Winter, you won't go, go more with the winter theme, so I use the black walnut bitters, you see. I do the same thing with making my uh, Manhattans as well, though, kind of change it up just depending on, again, my mood, the season, the weather, you know. We can change it up accordingly. Well, excuse me. Hope I didn't get any on you. Oh, man, I had a shrimp po' boy for, for lunch. Whew. Boy, that came back hard. Whew. Seafood. <laughs> Ooh, that's a shrimp burp. That's a shrimp burp, baby. Uh, anyway, uh, I digress. was good, though. Um, I mean, the sandwich was done perfectly. They fried perfectly. Uh, the flavor was amazing. Good quality shrimp. But boy, that burp, whew, that hurt a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. Hope nobody gets near me for a minute. Uh, wow, that was wicked, man. <laughs> oh, shrimp burp. Uh, anyway, uh, I digress. On that note, on that note, we're going to leave it right there, man. I, I am Tom, the Whiskey Whisper Whiskey Evangelist. Prolific whiskey drinker, Burr Bear was a man. All right, good guy. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for tuning in.